ship floating in the clouds off Cornwall leaves man baffled. Or does it? This uh, story in Cornwall Live is something that crops up from time to time. We see very similar stories to this uh, in the media over the years. And uh, we see what looks like a ship floating above the horizon. And this version of the story in Cornwall Live, they actually talked to the guy who took the photograph and he has, in fact, seen the phenomenon before. And he explains what it is. Now, he was actually there and he had the wider view. He could see the whole context and he could tell kind of where the ship was relative to the, the actual horizon. And you can see what was actually going on. And he, he explains that what's actually, actually happening here is that uh, due to the similar coloring of the sea and sky, the large vessel appears to be sitting amongst the clouds. And that's what's actually happening here. And we, we know this because this is the type of thing that we've seen uh, many times before and a lot of the times you get better quality photos that are a bit wider and you can actually adjust the contrast and you can see that what's underneath the ship here isn't is in fact just the sea and there's quite a few examples like this one here of a boat that appears uh, at, a, at a distance to be floating above the horizon here but in fact this region here is in fact just just the sea just the, the ocean and it's just a, a change in the color which is possibly to do with the reflection of the clouds possibly to do with like a bit of haze over the ocean but basically there's, there's nothing um, nothing weird going on here other than a bit of an optical illusion because the surface of the sea is blending in with the sky uh, and we see this uh, in in bunch of other images here. Like here's a classic one here. A boat appears to be uh, floating up above uh, the horizon. But it's, again, it's the same type of thing. It's just the, this is the area of the sea that kind of blends in with uh, with the sky. And you can actually see these these real horizons if you magnify the uh, the contrast, and you'll see a little line where the actual horizon is. And here's the, the one we're looking at here. You can actually see that right here, the real horizon and the false horizon. But uh, you know, what's happened with this is, of course, the, the media picks it up and because it looks quite like an amazing image. And they go with it being a mirage, which it uh, is not. It's not a mirage. And uh, uh, unfortunately, a lot of meteorologists will say it's a mirage. They'll say things like, it's a, a superior mirage because it's above the horizon, meaning superior, inferior means below the horizon. And if we, we go to Google and we, we type in um, superior mirage, and we look at the, uh, the images, we'll see what an actual superior mirage looks like. It looks like something like this. It's uh, very kind of distorted, and it's like a couple of things, one on top of the other. It's all stretched out. But we'll also see things like this. This, uh, this this image here, this again is a boat which is just kind of on a false horizon. You can magnify and see the real horizon here. And people think it's a superior mirage. It's not. We see the same thing. Here's the classic examples. Here is this, another one, not a superior mirage. This over here, this is a superior mirage. Not a superior mirage. Yes, a superior mirage. And you also see Fata Morganas. Now, a big part of the problem here are these uh, helpful little diagrams which supposedly show uh, a superior mirage, but they don't actually show a superior mirage. They show a phenomenon called looming, where an object is raised up without being uh, inverted. With a superior mirage, you're actually seeing something that is uh, flipped upside down. Uh, the two very very different things but with with looming what we see here if that was what was going on we would actually see the water underneath the boat and we don't see that so we know it's not looming we know it's not a superior mirage because it's not upside down this is a superior mirage uh it you can see the image is upside down it's inverted but uh, very similar diagrams supposedly show a uh, superior mirage but they're actually showing looming something completely different if you want to understand more about what a superior mirage is and what an inferior mirage is and why this isn't either of those two things, what I recommend you do is go to metabunk.org slash refraction. And this is something I wrote a couple of years ago. It's a refraction simulator. And we have kind of a magnified side view here. We have a temperature profile over here, which we can edit. And then we have the resultant image and what we can do is we can graduate temperature profile and we can do things like make uh, the surface of the water colder and then make the uh, gradient steeper and uh, we can do 
you know, all kinds of things and move it around and we can see the various different optical effects that you can get. Now, if you go down here, I have a bunch of presets and it starts out at oil tanker one, which is just, just the normal view you might expect on a regular day. And if we go to the second one there, this is the superior mirage an inversion. And as you can see, it kind of looks like those examples that we saw before. It's a uh, inverted version of the ship above the normal ship. And this is a, uh, a superior mirage because there's a mirage above the actual ship. Uh, next one is the inferior mirage, also known as the hot road effect. And you see this on hot roads. It looks like a pool of water uh, on the road above you, uh, in front of you, reflecting the sky. And this is what that looks like. Now, you can play around with these curves and you, you can understand what's going on here. If you look at this curve here and you look at this uh, side view here, it shows you all the rays of light and wh where they go. When something is uh, hot, the air is less dense, which means that the air will bend towards the more dense air. So when something is a light beam is coming down, it will bend up and you get this kind of inversion here. It gives you essentially just a mirror in, in the water. If I make it less dramatic, you get less and less of an effect. And eventually it'll just go back down to, to a bit of a distortion and then down to normal. But you know, this, this effect here, this uh, inferior mirage, is, uh, is not what we're seeing in, in these photos, in the hovering ships. Because if it was an inferior mirage, you would see a inverted ship underneath this ship because we're seeing it you know, in an inferior, inferior mirage we see reflection of the sky but we also see reflections of things like cars and buildings uh, in in these pools of, of of water that appear on the road and we don't see that here it's just simply blending in with the sky behind and number four is lofting. Now lofting is when just simply something is raised up and this is often mistaken for an inferior mirage, a superior mirage, because it's above where it should be. But in fact uh, everything you look at pretty much is being lofted because the natural state of the atmosphere is to be more dense lower down and so it generally will raise things up a little bit. Now when you've got uh, uh, a rather uh, dramatic cooling down at a lower level you get this effect here. Uh, where the light rays bend around the, uh, the, the curve of the Earth. And uh, you will see further than you will normally see. What you can do here is you can turn this turn refraction on and off to see what it would look like if there was no atmospheric refraction. All the rays go straight and you can see the ship is just down below the horizon. Turn refraction back on and it pops up above because you've got this, this curving effect. Normally the atmosphere looks more like this and you've just got a simple temperature gradient and you can just see a little bit of bit more of the ship. Um, but with uh, the, the more extreme thing we have here, you, you see quite a lot of it. It's probably going to be more like, uh, like this eventually. So we have cold water lower down, which allows you to see around this bit and then the higher up bits are fairly straight. And this is kind of fun to play around with. Uh, number five is Fata Morgana, which is just, you know, it's a more complicated, uh, series of uh, mirages and yeah I don't think we even need this one here uh, it's kind of like uh, weird inversions giving various effects and you can move it around and you can see see what happens if there's different uh, different sets of temperatures temperature gradients in the air but again not what we're seeing here not what's going on in this news story